Welcome to the Netherlands for the start of La Vuelta 22. This 77th edition kicks off in Utrecht, which also hosted the start of the Tour de France in 2015. The riders will spend three days in the cycling mad Netherlands before returning to Spain in the Basque Country early next week. It was also announced that Vuelta 2023 will start with a team time trial in Barcelona, but first up was the 2022 curtain raiser. 23.3 kilometres around Utrecht are not overly technical. It's the first Grand Tour TTT since 2019 when Astana won in Torrevieja, so who would take the first red jersey of this edition? Burgos BH had the honour of getting this welter underway at 6.30pm local time. There was a bit of rain at the start, but the road would dry out for the big favourites like the Ineos Grenadiers and Jumbo Visma. Burgos covered the course at an average speed of over 52 kilometres an hour, but they wouldn't spend long in the hot seat. They were soon ousted by Israel Premier Tech, the team of the two-time welter winner, Chris Froome be happy with that there were no major mistakes out on the course we, we worked well together in that sense so happy with that for me personally it was a bit of a leg opener after uh, not racing since the Tour de France but uh, yeah happy to get that stage uh, out of the way now there was a nice little battle between Group Armour FDJ led by Thibaut Pino and Simon Yates's bike exchange Jayco the British rider won La Vuelta in 2018 before the start of the Roglic era Here's a team of bike exchange, chilling out in the hot seats. UAE Team Emirates were unable to beat that time, meaning João Almeida and Brandon McNulty are already on the back foot. A similar story for Bahrain Victorious and Mikel Landa. Giro winner Jai Hindley also finished outside the top five with Bora Hansgrohe. It's pretty nice to do a Triple T. I haven't done one, I think, since 2019. So, yeah, I was a bit... A bit rusty out there, but uh, like I said, the team were really phenomenal and uh, the guys were awesome. And it's uh, the first day of a long three weeks, so we'll see what we can do. It was soon time for the big guns to roll down the start ramp. Movistar with Valverde and Enric Mas. Quick step for Evanapool and Alaphilippe. Ineos Grenadiers and Carapaz. And Roglic's Jumbo Visma hoping to triumph on home soil. It was a hard-fought battle with Ineos finally taking over from Bike Exchange at the top of the timesheets. Quickstep agonisingly close, finishing just one second behind Ineos, while Movistar was some 30 seconds back. But Jumbo Visma were clearly on a mission in front of their home fans. Jumbo Visma lining up, as Hannah said, you need to think about how you get your five riders to the line first. Rather than be all in one line, you need to save as many seconds as possible through the last couple of little curves. Jumbo Visma reached the finish line. Let's look at the time. And it's going to be the top of the leaderboard. 24 minutes and 40 seconds for Jumbo Visma. They absolutely smash in the Os Grenadiers. Well, Jumbo Visma living up to their billing as the day's favourites and rewarding their loyal domestic Robert Hessink with the first red jersey of this welter. The 36-year-old Dutchman making a dream start to the race. Having already taken the biggest win of his career at La Vuelta in 2016, he'll wear a Grand Tour leader's jersey for the very first time on home soil in the Netherlands. Hessink previously came as high as sixth overall at this race before evolving into a key lieutenant, especially in the mountains. He's helped Roglic win the last three editions, but tomorrow he'll be the man enjoying the limelight. Really, really grateful to the boys. I mean, uh, wow, they were so, so crazy strong, and uh, oh, I, uh, I'm really grateful that uh, to be to be in the red jersey. I think that's uh, yeah, it's definitely one of the highlights of my career. Jumbo Visma win the opening stage by 13 seconds from Ineos and 14 from Quickstep. Bike exchange with the best of the rest at 31 seconds. Hessink leads his seven teammates at the top of the general classification. There were no bonus seconds handed out today. 
Now Saturday's second stage is sure to be one for the sprinters, a flat outing of 175 kilometers where the likes of Malia, Ackerman, Bennett, Pedersen, Groves and Thiessen will be gunning for victory. Meanwhile, Hessing will enjoy his day in the red jersey.